Japan's Western Village, once a bustling theme park where children would appropriate American culture, basking in the glory of an empire that would one day destroy their own. Business was humming along for 30 years until one day, a group of ravenous monkeys took over the entire park, ripping the patrons to pieces and claiming the Western Village as their own. The owners of the park had no choice but to abandon it, living in a ghost town for the last 20 years until now. This is where we find our hero, a small-brained American, a desperate YouTuber willing to do anything for 1,000 views. Brave. Oh, he's coming over. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And smart. He had never stood down from a challenge in his entire life. Today's the day we embark on our journey from Ireland all the way to Japan on this motorcycle. We will not be getting to Japan on our motorcycle. And his nemesis, a badge of the bone monkey hell-bent on protecting his land from foreign invaders. He had nothing to lose. It was the showdown of the century, and he didn't even realize it yet. Wow, we are in the middle of nowhere. No one got off of this stub. I feel like this place is already abandoned and we haven't even got there. Weird, I've actually never been in a train stop in Japan where no one got off. Look, neither, neither train, no one is getting off. We are already alone. I figured a train station would be a little crowded at least, but nope, nobody, nothing. <laughs> Look, there's not even a, a ticket counter. You just scan it. I guess they're relying on the old honesty system. Wow, so just to illustrate how abandoned this place already is, just the town surrounding the, the theme park, there's no sidewalk on that side either. Cars are just whizzing by. This is a very weird thing in Japan. I feel like they pride themselves in their really nice public infrastructure. There goes a car. There goes a car. And another car. That could have been the end of me. But yeah, they pride themselves in their public infrastructure and yet there's no sidewalks. I don't know what that is. Not a sidewalk. What to do? Should I die on the right side of the road? Or should I die on the left side of the road? Also to further illustrate my point, usually in Japan you could like stand in one family mart or 7-Eleven and look out and see another one. That's how many there are. There's like fucking waffle houses in the south. But here, there is nothing. Oh my god. Oh wait, there's one. Oh my god. That's the first one we've seen. Look, even though there's nobody around, I'm still gonna be a good boy, and I'm gonna be a good Japanese citizen and wait at the crosswalk. I'm gonna do what that light tells me to do. There's our sign. I just do what the light tells me to do. I don't think for myself. I just follow the light's commands. <laughs> well, it seems I spoke too soon because the Lawson, the center of civilization of this town, is right next to the Western Village. Don't mind if I do. Oh, f oh, f oh. Yeah, Japan has a 99% conviction rate, so if you are arrested for something, you are going to jail. So, um, let's try to avoid that today. Well, it looks like uh, this is our way in. Oh. Oh wow, that was easy. Oh. Weird. Oh, that's a big f place. Oh my f god, that was scary. Look how well preserved that is. That's been sitting here abandoned for 20 years. Yeah, it looks like after the years of uh, being abandoned, the f uh, porch has caved in. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us today keep an optimistic spirit. Oh, it's an animatronic. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. Someone's put a cigarette in his mouth, his little wig. Oh my God, you can see the circuit board. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Mad cool. Whoa. That is fucking creepy, dude. That is Creepy. Yeah, I guess he must have had a speaker here, so we, when he talks, he can help me. I'm a fully sentient being. Trevor, Someone's giving him sunglasses. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh Jesus! 
That's probably why. It's like a Ray Charles situation. You don't want to, you don't want to see what's under the sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, man, like I feel like in the U.S., if they had a situation like this, like a huge abandoned theme park, it would just be ransacked, all the copper wire. This would be stolen or ripped to shreds. But the Japanese are quite respectful with maintaining. Wow, here's the the big amphitheater here. We're in the center of town, y'all. This must be where they put on little act, live action shows and whatnot. Rad, the old wooden barrels. And then the Japanese text. It's really weird, uh, weird contrast. <laughs> this is funny, dude. Is this what they think of us? Are we just a stereotype to them? <laughs> the old church. Dude, they boarded this place up. What the fuck? That's mad cool. I think it's still owned by this the the original guy. They opened up in like 1975. They closed in like 2005. And uh, they were just supposed to repair it for a few weeks, but they ended up just closing it permanently. And I think it's still under the same ownership. Um, so I guess he's taking measures to protect idiots like me. I'll be honest, guys. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get into any of these buildings and see any more of these. Anime. Oh, my. It's a fucking monkey. Our hero's first look at his nemesis. But this did not scare him. I'm actually really scared now. Those monkeys can fuck you up, dude. Shit. That's probably the biggest threat to us. It's not asbestos or um, falling in one of these abandoned buildings. It's a fucking monkey. I know he's not gonna just gonna attack me out of nowhere, but I just don't like how unpredictable animals are. I'm already on edge. And that monkey's big as fuck. Let's see, is he right here? Yeah, that's him over there. Our hero contemplated his next move. Would he walk away or would he stare fair in the face for 1,000 views on an internet video hosting site? Yeah, I don't know if you guys... Oh, there it is. Oh, he sees me. He definitely sees me. But I'm far enough away. Dude. Fuck. The fact that I'm here alone... Big ass monkey over there. I'm already on edge. I really want to go over there though, bro. That's it's supposed to be like a big Mount Rushmore. I'm gonna Google if monkeys are dangerous, just to be sure. I think those are the kinds that can fuck you up, but. God damn. Our hero bravely Googles the danger of monkeys in Japan and finds some disturbing news. Until all of a sudden. Oh fuck. Oh, he's coming over. Oh no, 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 no. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh dude. I didn't like that. Not one bit. Fine. I don't know. Maybe he was just curious. I did not like that, dude. I was literally Googling, are uh, monkeys in Japan dangerous? And I was getting all these like fucking horrifying reports about people being attacked and shit. And uh, yeah, it was bad. Apparently, there's been a lot of. Uh, Man, I'm terrified there. I was in there alone. I guess the monkeys have taken over and reclaimed this fucking weird ass amusement park. I'm also right by the road. I'm right next to it. Fuck that shit, dude. Fuck that shit. Well, this was a fucking disaster. Couldn't really get in. Got fucking ran out by monkeys. Take one last look. Take one last look at the, the old theme park. There you go, there's your money shot. Me out front, ha ha, thumb down. Okay, 
See you guys in the next one. Peace.